Hey everyone, it is Friday. I hope you're having a good day. In January of 1838, 28-year-old Abraham Lincoln, that's right, 28-year-old Abraham Lincoln, gave this speech to a local young men's club in Springfield, Illinois. He gave the speech in response to a mob attacking and burning to death a black man. In the speech, Lincoln thinks back to the founding fathers, particularly George Washington, who have now passed on. And he refers to them as the pillars of liberty. And here's the end of that speech. They were the pillars of the temple of liberty. And now that they have crumbled away, that temple must fall unless we, their descendants, supply their places with other pillars, hewn from the solid quarry of sober reason. Passion has helped us, but can do so no more. It will in future be our enemy, reason, cold, calculating, unimpassioned reason, must furnish all the materials for our future support and defense. Let those materials be molded into general intelligence, sound morality, and in particular, a reverence for the Constitution and laws. And that we improved to the last, that we remained free to the last, that we revered his name to the last, that during his long sleep, we permitted no hostile foot to pass over or desecrate his resting place, shall be that which, to learn the last trump, shall awaken our George Washington. Upon these, let the proud fabric of freedom rest as the rock of its basis, and as truly as has been said of the only greater institution, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, in that speech, there was only one thing that Abraham Lincoln valued above the United States, and that is the kingdom, the church of Jesus Christ, which, as Lincoln quoted, the gates of hell cannot prevail against. We hear in Lincoln's words his reverence for reason, for morality, for the constitution of our great country. The events of the last couple of days shows the enduring power of the United States Constitution, a document that some have dared to even use the word inspired to describe. Years ago, when our family visited Washington, D.C., we were able to view one of the original copies of the Constitution that was drawn up in its own words to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Surely the source of that and every blessing is God, because God is good all the time. 